Welcome to some awesome games. Good looking people, I am Rob. We are playing Evolve on the Xbox One. I'm going to apologize in advance for this one. Because we are playing as Kraken. So, I'm sorry. We might play as Neptune Kraken, he looks pretty cool. Um, what we got, what we got, what we got? I'm thinking that, yeah, Neptune Kraken. I've already, I've pre-decided, man. Uh, Alright, so, the classic Kraken. It's today's lesson in Kraken. All you need in life is two Banshee Mines and one Lightning Strike, plus a side of Stamina, and that's it. You've won. If you can't win with this, well, just, I guess, get better, and then you might be able to. Practice. Practice. Uh, that's it. That's all we're going to use. Uh, stage... Uh, no, nah, I'm not going to stage one. Uh, stage two. Stage two. They are... What level are these guys? What rank are these? This is our second ranked match. Our first being Goliath. We've got Bronze Destroyer, Bronze Elite. Ooh. Elite. Is Elite better than Destroyer? I don't know. Is it not ranks I'm aware of? Two determining their ranks. A third determining their rank. That being me. Determining my monster rank to see if I'm a, a good monster or a bad monster. Uh, Alright. Let's play the game. Let's play the game we all have to play. Guess the Hunters. Um, Parnell, uh, Maggie, damn it, well I got Maggie, Wasteland and Maggie, wasn't quick enough man, wasn't quick enough, alright, drinks break everybody, everybody have your drinks in preparation for the fight that is about to happen, uh, like I said I apologize in advance, it is Kraken, there is no fair way to play Kraken really, in reality, I don't, I don't think there is or ever has been a time when anyone has ever gone, you know what, I really liked playing against that Kraken. That was really fun. That went really well. That was a totally fair match. I mean, yeah, he could fly really high in the sky and throw little balls at us the entire time and then use his attacks at range so he never has to get into our face and that. Um, it was great. It was good fun. We stood a great chance with all of our assaults being close ranged assaults. Perfect, man. <laughs> Perfect. Or we could switch to our long range low damage weapons. I mean, it was just spectacular. We all had a great time. Alright, drinks break. Let's drink it up. Today's drink of choice is a, some kind of cappuccino with chocolate on the top. I think that I think that by default makes the cappuccino, because if you can put chocolate on the top, it becomes a cappuccino, no matter what it is. Mmm, delicious. Alright. So now we've had our pre prep uh, our prep talk, our little huddle circle talk, which I always like to do. That's why I keep that loading screen in there. Uh with stage two, that's I consider stage two. Um I mean we'll cut these out, but like to start off with here because it is people either returning to the game or seeing it for the first time. I like to give the little prep talk before I have to focus on actually playing. Just so I can say what's on my mind and give people an idea of how things I expect to go um, but of course when we do stage 2 I expect stage 2 is like the you don't know how to play too bad so we skip the cutscenes, we skip the warm up chat and I'm totally I'm happy for you to skip it yourself just get straight to the action where we are now I don't mind the option is there that's the, that's the beauty of videos like on demand videos it's one of the things I love about comments when uh, you upload a long video and then someone says, oh, thanks for making me watch, like, sit through all this. And you're like, what the fuck, man? Like, what? How, how is that a comment that exists on a video that you can skip? I'm not a teacher in class. I'm not, you don't have to come to class and then sit through a lecture that you were not, you did not want and is a massive waste of time. Like, this is a, like, you're clicking on it, you go into the video, you're going, yep, that sounds pretty good, and then you're sitting there, and if it's boring, you can either leave, or you can skip ahead to parts that you think would be interesting. Like, if you, like, you know the layout of an Evolve video, right? Like, the layout of an Evolve video is pretty obvious. We pick our character, we discuss what, what our tactics are going to be, we take our uh, selection, uh, we get find the hunters out, who the hunters are, then we have the loading screen, and we talk over the loading screen, and then we get into the game. Like, if that shit is boring, people can skip that. Yet, yet, every now and then, 
It hasn't happened recently, but this was something that used to happen, and I always, I always laugh. It happens on other videos as well. Um, sometimes if I post a long video, and you, like if you have a YouTube camera, this is the kind of comment that will pop up. It's people like complaining that you made them watch it, like they, you physically force them to sit through the video, and then they have a go at you like, "Thanks for that, man. I didn't want. Thanks for making me sit through all this. Thanks for making me watch this." And you're like. Hey, I just put it. It's an optional thing in life to do. Like I would find that hilarious. I am just on autopilot here right now. Now, uh, all right. I should discuss what we're doing. Okay, so banshee mines. See, we got a little banshee. Mine. Like avoid the tree. All you do is when you want to go high, you push A and you push backwards. Hold the stick backwards and you'll stay up in the sky. With stamina, we have a lot of stamina, so we can just keep on staying in the sky. If you want to go down, you hold B. I don't want to go down right now because there's turret shooting me stuff. And then we just keep spamming these balls of energy, and then lightning striking, and then we just fly away. Just float on out of here. We can run if we want, we can just fly, ta-da! Usually it's a good idea to fly backwards, so that way you can just keep chucking stuff. And, and that's it, that's cracking. Stay in the sky, they'll shoot you, but they're not gonna do much damage. You're, you're very fast, every time you do a little, like, little speed burst and that, you're pretty good. The assault's the biggest damage dealer, and it's very difficult for an assault to get anywhere near a Kraken to actually do like their main amount of damage. So it's kind of hilarious. Unless you have um, a really good trapper who can just like lock you, if they can get you on the ground, which is a very, very difficult thing to do. If they can get you on the ground, uh, you're basically preventing the Kraken from landing lightning strikes. Because lightning strike, it's very, it's, I'm not going to say very difficult, but it's it's more difficult to land a lightning strike when you're on even ground with the person you're trying to lightning strike than it is when you're up in the sky and you're just looking down and being like, yep, strike there. It's like clicking a mouse and being like, bam, done. Uh, Banshee mines will lock on to targets, so you just like lob them out. I like them for hunting, they're good for hunting. You see a thing, you shoot a mine out, you track it down, kill it. It's great. Um, that's it, really. That's it, you just fly backwards, throw balls, do what you want. You can lightning strike from a massive distance in Legacy Evolve, I think. I do, actually, I don't think they did restrict the distance. So, it was, just, it was a good tactic uh, we used to do early on in the game, which would probably, probably work now, was like, if the hunters can't find you, like, when we were playing much more stealthily, like when stealth was an option, it sort of is still in this one, but like a lot of people play Maggie, so it's kind of pointless. Um, you lightning strike across the map. You just look across the map. If you've got a clear view across the map, you just put a lightning strike in the distance. They'll see it and they'll be like, well, we were tracking the, the crack in this way, but there's a lightning strike out there. So he must be out there. And then you'll just see like a dome and stuff go up. Like that was the thing that happened. That would, It's happened in a couple of videos that we did. Lightning, like this is a good map for it. You can see like a long way down the thing. So you could be at the far end, lightning strike all the way out in the distance, and then the hunters like, oh my god, there's a kraken out there. Or, or something that also used to happen was you would lightning strike a hunter from across the map. You would kill players from a distance using the most powerful move the kraken has without needing to be there. That is the power of the kraken. The Kraken is amazing, it's terrifying. If you beat a Kraken, that's that's a win. That's like, retire, you're done. There's nothing better than beating a Kraken. But if you can lock a Kraken on the ground, that's where they're weak. If they cannot fly, they're gonna die. The hardest part though, is getting that mofo on the ground. If you can get a Kraken in a cave, great. If they don't have Aftershock, if they have Aftershock, I still want to keep your distance. The Kraken's just, it's just too good, man. It's just, I don't know what they were thinking. It's an awesome idea for a monster, but when it comes to playing as it, or playing against it, playing as it is fun, because you can just play and blast people and stuff. Playing against it is just hell. So I like, that's why I apologize in advance. Because these guys, they're probably not having a good time. I'm trying to make them have a good time, but as you can see, they're quitting. Because what's the point in playing a ranked match and getting smashed by a Kraken, you're not gonna win. That mine gave up on you, Bucket. I thought I was gonna get you. That's very hopeful. But 
It looks like we are done. Are we done? Are we done? There we go. Oh, we're not done! Daisy! Cheeky dog. Now we're done. No, we're still not done. The drop ship. The drop ship come in, huh? Where the hell are they? Yeah, they are. Alright, so I met the medic quit. He didn't like losing. No one likes losing, but still, you stick it out, man. Like, in, what, an extra minute of your life? You lose one little spot? That's too bad. Alright, Emmett. Oh, yeah, the Kraken also has an amazing pounce range. That's another. It's just. The unstoppable monster. If you see a Kraken, people usually quit. That's just how things went. Lamo. I really think just like a damage nerf would have been great for a Kraken. Because the amount of time the amount of time it takes to kill a Kraken should be equivalent to the amount of time it takes a Kraken to kill you. But a Kraken can like you can combo people to death. Just like Banshee Mine, Lightning Strike, Snowballs, it's just like bam 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 Kraken, you're dead. So the balance is not there. It's never been there. It never will be there now. So if you want to win and ruin the game, play as Kraken. You see very few Kraken videos on my channel. Even though we've done like a thousand videos. Um, Kraken was one I always avoided. I never liked playing the overpowered characters. Because what's the point? If you lose, it's embarrassing. If you win, it's not surprising. <laughs>